So this is GE's Super Smoker. It is a sensor-enabled smoking pit. GE is very interested in, the, in driving the industrial internet. We want to connect our devices that actually power the world. On our manufacturing floors, we want to make our manufacturing devices as smart as they can possibly be. So this is actually a direct analogy to what we're trying to do in our own manufacturing plants. Evan Leroy from Friedman's Barbecue here in Austin, and he's been our pit master, and he is doing barbecue exactly like he always does it. But he is now getting real-time information, so he understands better how this pit operates. When he, he wants to like walk up and, and check it, because that's what pit masters do, he's been able to just look at this data and say, oh no, I don't have to now. I understand that it's cooking exactly as I want it to. So what that gives him is it gives him more consistent smoke, more consistent temperature, and a more reproducible brisket. So it's giving him visibility into this data that allows him to figure out how to operate this better. And that's what we want to do to our operators on the manufacturing floor. So there's um, five thermocouples in there, and three of them are measuring the pit temperature itself. So we're measuring at the top, in the middle, and at the bottom. And what we want to see and what we want to drive to, you want them to all come together so that you've got a consistent temperature throughout the pit. And then we've got two other thermocouples in between those where we actually have put a piece of meat on them when we're cooking so we understand what the temperature of the meat is because you want to cook it internally to a certain temperature so that you know it's done. At the top we have a relative humidity sensor and there's been um, a lot of talk in barbecue pits about do you put the water in it or do you not put the water in it. So we put the water in it and what we found out is that it had no effect whatsoever. The last one is a velocity sensor in the stack and what that is telling us is how the machine is drafting. I can tell you what I have learned as a backyard barbecuer. So first of all, one of the things I've learned that as far as the meat goes, I would want to buy the best meat that I could. I've learned that keeping the rub very, very simple so that the smoke can actually infuse the meat directly without having to go through marinades and glazes is very important. I've learned that patience is a huge piece of this. Don't give up, don't keep opening it up and checking on it. You see that steady stream of smoke coming out, you, you wanna have that.